These are my top web browsers for 2020. At number one, we have Firefox. I love Firefox. It's only 49 megabytes. That's a very quick download. Firefox is very easy to use. I've used Firefox for years, never encountered a single issue. Well, maybe in the beginning days, Firefox used to crush, but I don't see it crushing anymore. You can use Firefox on a MacBook or you can use it on a Windows computer. You can use Firefox on different operating systems. That is an advantage. Google Chrome. Well, I love Google Chrome, but what I don't like about Google Chrome is that it collects information. Google Chrome is also a fairly small download, less than four megabytes. What I do not li what I like is that you can use it on the Windows computers and you can use it on uh, Mac OS devices uh, on that is uh, MacBooks and you can also use it on the iPhones so you can use it on mobile devices on computers and on Windows devices. Number three, Opera. Opera is also another small download coming in less than uh, five megabytes. Um, what I like about Opera is that it has a win, a, a, an ad blocker and you can also use it it has a VPN option so let's say if you're out of the country you're, you're in a country where the access to the internet is restricted you can jump on your Opera web browser and be able to access the internet number four Microsoft Edge I've had issues with uh, Internet Explorer in the past but this Microsoft Edge the, the new one is uh, pretty stable and if you're using your computer, if you're using your Mac, your laptop and you're not connected to the to the wall, your battery is not going to drain very quick. So it uses very little battery. So I love the new Microsoft Edge because of that. It's very secure. It has great security and it's pretty fast. You should be okay using Microsoft Edge with Windows 8 and 10. You might have some issues if you are trying to use Microsoft Edge with earlier Windows, earlier versions of Windows, but you should be okay if you are using Windows 8 and 10. So that's Microsoft Edge. Number five is a little known web browser. It's called Chromium. That is spelled C as in Charlie, H as in Hotel, R as in Romeo, O as in Oscar, M as in Michael, I as in India, U as in Umbrella, M as in Michael. And that is only a five. 52 megabytes download. I don't know a lot of information about Chromium, but those that I've spoken to that use it say it's a, it's a pretty uh, good web browser. Number six, Vivaldi. Vivaldi is owned by the same company that makes Opera, and Vivaldi is only about 58.3 megabytes. So that is a pretty small download. Well, let's not forget Safari. Safari is also a very good web browser. But the issue with Safari is that it can only be used on, on MacBooks. You cannot use Safari on Windows computer. Um, so that's the only downside. But it has very good protection. And it's a pretty fast uh, download. It's a pretty, pretty fast uh, web browser. That is my list. If you... Well, let me rate these. Let me rate them. So I'm going to give a Firefox 10 out of out of 10 it's absolutely great there's nothing that i do not like about about firefox uh, i'm going to give um chrome i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten uh i'm going to give opera i'm gonna give that one a nine as well and microsoft's edge i'm going to give it a nine and a half they've really done some major improvements on the web browser and Vivaldi, I cannot rate it at this point since I have not been exposed a lot to it. So that is my list of web browsers that I think... Oh, Safari, I forgot to rate uh, Safari. Safari, I'll give it a 9. That is my list of web browsers that I think are great for 2020. If you have any other that you are using, please feel free to comment below and let me know what you are using and what is, wo what is working for you. If this video has been helpful to you, Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.